Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite gel creams. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I am a board certified dermatologist. I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the thumbs up. It really helps my videos out a lot. What are gel creams? They're basically moisturizers, but they tend to be a lot more lightweight and fast absorbing. And I think they're a particularly great product to select if you're someone who has really oily skin and or acne prone skin because they don't feel greasy or heavy on the skin. People who have rosacea oftentimes are seeking a more lightweight moisturizer because in many cases, heavy moisturizers can aggravate some of the symptoms of burning, stinging, and flushing in people who have rosacea. For people who are using spot treatments, gel creams are a really nice option to apply to the skin first to reduce side effects of dryness and irritation because they tend to absorb very quickly and they're not heavy on the skin. So it allows for good uptake of the of the topical, whether it be benzoyl peroxide or like a salicylic acid spot treatment, uh, but simultaneously helps with the moisture content of the skin and helps with recovery from any irritation to the moisture barrier. All right, so my gateway into gel creams actually started with good old Neutrogena Hydro Boost Extra Dry Sensitive Skin. This is their fragrance-free, Hyaluronic Acid Gel Cream. And I adore this product. It's formulated with silicones that actually help trap in hydration into the skin. I typically layer this underneath other moisturizers, but many people get along well using this as their standalone moisturizer. Um, and the hyaluronic acid helps to hold onto water in the skin, smoothing out the look of wrinkles and fine lines. It's not greasy, it's not heavy. So I have used this for many years, however, um, from the Hydro Boost line by Neutrogena, um, and I actually prefer, for me personally, um, is a product uh, that's actually marketed for the body. It's their Hydro Boost Overnight Hydration Cream. You have got to try this product on your face. Trust me, it is amazing. I adore it. This, like the gel cream, like the like the one I just showed you, has hyaluronic acid in it to hold on to water, but it also has polyhydroxy acids in it. It has uh, zinc gluconate and copper gluconate. These ingredients um, help, along with hyaluronic acid, to increase the moisture content of the top layer of the skin, ultimately smoothing out wrinkles and fine lines, and just improving barrier function overall. But polyhydroxy acids also very gently uh, and very slowly exfoliate some of the top layer of the skin. So this is a great product to use for people who have um, oily, sensitive skin and they're just kind of looking to improve overall skin texture. This is a great one to consider. It does have petrolatum in it, but don't fear petrolatum. Petrolatum is not you know, contraindicated for people with acne or oily skin. It just helps to seal in um, hydration into the skin and reduce water loss. Now, this product, of course, is marketed for more of the body, especially with the packaging and everything. It does work really well as a body moisturizer also. Um, if you have that dry skin condition, keratosis pilaris, this works like a dream for improving that. Personally, I occasionally get flares of that myself. I have eczema, so I'm prone to keratosis pilaris, like on my arms. And this past winter, I had a bout of it, and this rectified it, so it's quite good. And because keratosis pilaris can affect the face in many cases, you should consider this uh, for helping that situation. The polyhydroxy acids will help to soften and gently exfoliate that dry, bumpy, built-up stuff within the hair follicle within the pore to gently remove it while simultaneously addressing the moisture barrier. People get very preoccupied in keratosis pilaris with attempting to like exfoliate it away. And while that temporarily will improve the appearance and make the skin smooth, you end up losing a lot of water out of the skin, which ultimately is going to aggravate the condition and make it more persistent. So a moisturizer that has polyhydroxy acids is a wonderful choice for that situation. And this is nice in that it's fast absorbing, it doesn't feel greasy or sticky. So moving into the warmer months, it's a great one. Any skin type would enjoy it. All right, the next product is another Johnson & Johnson Win. 
You guys have heard me rave about it ad nauseum, but I'm gonna plug it again because it is that good. It is the Aveeno Calm and Restore Oat Gel Moisturizer. Definitely give this a try, it is wonderful. It is similar in consistency to the Hydro Boost Gel Cream. It has uh, silicones in it, which help seal in uh, moisture and reduce transepidermal water loss out of the skin, but it also has oat in it. Now, oat is wonderful, packed with anti-inflammatory compounds that reduce free radical damage and oxidative stress that can break down the sebum on your skin if you're somebody who has oily skin and contribute further to two flares of like acne and irritation. Uh, so it has oats. Now oats also are wonderful at holding hydration in the skin. Beyond the oats, this also has um, centella extract in it. Now centella, I have a video on some of my favorite centella products and this made an appearance, but centella is a wonderful ingredient in that it's packed with saponins and triterpenic acids that can help fight off oxidative stress. And um, Centella is also a really wonderful humectant. It slides in between skin cells to really grasp onto moisture in the top layer of the skin that's ultimately going to improve and strengthen barrier function and help with smoothing out wrinkles and fine lines and just improving the overall skin texture and appearance. Give you that glowy, radiant look but this isn't greasy. It's not gonna make you shiny or oily or anything like that. I mean, moisturizers do not make you oily. Uh, oil production, as a side note, is, is because of hormones and inflammation in the skin. So moisturizers are actually a really important piece in reducing the appearance of oiliness because uh, they just allow the moisture barrier to function better and reduce irritation. But yeah, long story short, this is not gonna make you look greasy or anything like that. Um, and you, you, know, you really don't need too much of any of these products. And what I like about them is they all, all the products I'm mentioning in this video, uh, they layer underneath products well. Um, so for example, if you like to use a moisturizer in the morning, then these are a great choice because they absorb quickly and once they do, you can apply your sunscreen on over and you're not gonna get that pilling or balling that you might with a heavier moisturizer in some cases. Um, all right, so next up is similar in consistency to the Aveeno product and kind of similar benefits, but a slightly different ingredient. And that is, I'm kind of actually nervous to mention this because it seems to be going out of stock everywhere. It is the Round Lab Mugwort Calming Cream. This is wonderful. It's very similar in consistency to the Aveeno product and to the Hydro Boost Gel Cream, but it has, um, it has mugwort in it. Now mugwort is in a botanic extract that is very rich in antioxidants and polyphenols, can help fight off free radical damage. In addition to the mugwort though, the Round Lab product also has uh, medecicide in it, which is part of, comes from Centella. It can help in holding on to water and can also, in theory, help boost up collagen production. So this is a really good moisturizer. If you're someone who is using um, antioxidants, I mean, it's got antioxidants in it, but in theory, using a product like this with the mugwort and the medecicide, because those are antioxidants, um, if, if they actually do get in the skin and do what they're supposed to do, that's gonna exhibit some synergy with any other antioxidants that you might be using, serums, et cetera, or you, know, you can consider this your antioxidant product. The other benefit of using a product like this is it can help fight off free radical damage from sun exposure and pollution. You know, we wear sunscreen to help block out some of the UV, but we can't really block out all the oxidative stress and we can't block out the oxidative stress from pollution. So having some antioxidants on board, you know, it's, it's an attractive thing to pursue, um, provided they work, which we'll never really know. But long story short, I love this and I, I'm glad I, I came across it. Highly recommend it if you're looking for a gel cream. All right, another gel moisturizer that is definitely worth a look is by this company, Dermartology. I came across this on Amazon, actually. This is a Korean brand, and it's the same brand that makes Adapalm products, which are, I think, really popular in Korea. Um, this product is a really nice gel cream. 
and it's got um, jojoba seed oil in it, which is really good for oily skin. Um, jojoba seed oil is a nice emollient that can smooth down skin cell edges, um, but it's really lightweight, doesn't you know feel greasy on the skin, and it's a stable oil, um, so it doesn't, you know, a lot of oils you, you can come across this issue where they degrade and generate more free radical damage. Um, this also has zinc gluconate, that polyhydroxy acid that I mentioned earlier that can help very gently exfoliate as well as impart moisture to the skin. And this has uh, niacinamide. Niacinamide is a wonderful ingredient for improving oiliness and reducing free radical damage in the skin. Niacinamide is also really helpful for reducing redness and can help with uh, improving hyperpigmentation. So if you have oily, acne prone skin, this is a great moisturizer to try out. It also has licorice root extract in it, another ingredient that helps with redness, inflammation, irritation, and hyperpigmentation. Yeah, you guys have been recommending this brand for quite some time now, and I really like this product a lot. All right, last but not least is the Cosar X Green Tea Aqua Soothing Gel Cream. Um, it's got uh, tea leaf extract in it. Now tea, green tea, packed with polyphenols, it can help fight off oxidative stress. There's some evidence that tea uh, polyphenols can help reduce, um, improve the look of pores and help with oiliness. Now, tea extract and tea polyphenols, they're difficult to actually to formulate into products, so I can't you know, guarantee that the tea in this is actually working, nor could I really in any other product. But uh, long story short, the formulation overall is very nice and consistent with a good gel cream for people with oily skin. I usually would use this personally underneath other products like a sunscreen because it doesn't really have much in the way of occlusives, but it is very humectant rich and does help with increasing the hydration of the top layer of the skin. In addition to the tea leaf extract, it also has panthenol in it. Many of these products do. Now panthenol is a great ingredient. It helps hold on to water and it has a anti-inflammatory effect that can help with redness, irritation, and panthenol also can help facilitate healing and recovery of the skin barrier. I really like this product for people who are dealing with a lot of irritation from topicals, or um, you know, maybe you've just been washing your face too aggressively and you have a lot of dryness and irritation. This is a really good soothing, moisturizing uh, product to consider incorporating into your routine. So those are the gel creams that I wanted to cover in today's video, but gel creams are a great option for people who have oily skin, acne prone skin, or are, have rosacea because they absorb very quickly and they don't feel heavy or greasy on the skin. Uh, gel creams though, you don't have to have those skin issues or skin types to consider pursuing them. So while these products are wonderful for improving the moisture content of the skin and helping your skin recover better from irritation, the major thing that's going to help you out the most is your lifestyle factors. I always want you guys to remember that, that the products, they can help, but they can only do so much. Uh, using moisturizers, not only does it benefit conditions like acne, rosacea, eczema, but it also ends up having a wrinkle smoothing effect um, just by increasing the hydration in the top layer of the skin. But ultimately, it's your lifestyle factors that really end up playing a major role in terms of the health of your skin. Are you protecting your skin from the sun and not sunbathing? How do you manage your stress? Stress leads to increase in stress hormones that drive further oiliness, uh, worsen acne, and contribute to more uh, free radical damage. They impair immune stress hormones, you know, and being under a lot of stress impairs healing and immune function. And so your skin is going to age more expeditiously and skin aging is not necessarily about cosmetics, it's about function. Um, so that's important to keep in mind. How are you managing your stress? If you're stressed out all the time, that feeds directly into your sleep cycle. Your sleep cycle gets disrupted, further stressing you out. All of these things further impair healing and further impair the function of your immune system and its ability to uh, protect you, fight off free radical damage, repair injured cells, and protect you from getting sick. Um, so 
you know, and a gel cream's not gonna fix that, unfortunately. Uh, and I want to emphasize that to you guys because you can think that a product may be the solution, but it's really gonna come down to your lifestyle factors. The other thing that's important to keep in mind is your diet. Um, diets that have a good amount of fruits and vegetables that are packed with vitamins, minerals, antioxidants that can help your body overall handle day-to-day -day stressors better. Uh, really an important part of skincare is the food that you eat. Foods that are sugary and processed, they really wreak havoc on your skin. Uh, they can cause something called advanced glycation end products and contribute to a lot of inflammation in the body. It's not to say that you can't ever enjoy Oreos or you know, the fun junk, but definitely make sure that you are building a diet that includes fruits, vegetables, lots of leafy greens, and that you are also getting in healthy fats, avocados, walnuts, and fatty fish. These are really important components of your skincare routine, the food that you ingest. And the other piece of it, I already alluded to sleep, but obviously don't smoke. I mean, no gel cream is gonna rectify the damage that smoking does to your skin. Uh, I really can't. Uh, n nothing other than stopping can, can help that out. I mean, smoking, smoking depletes your antioxidant reserves in the skin and chews up the collagen in your skin. Smokers have very severe signs of photoaging. Um, so don't smoke um, and manage your stress. Get good sleep so that your body can recover and heal and your skin barrier can heal and keep you protected from the outside world. It's about function, not, not the way it looks, but a benefit of making sure that you have everything teed up for optimizing skin function is your skin looks better. So that can always be incentivizing. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful to you all. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.